Hello everyone, Carlos here from the Trusted Sec Research Team. And today I want to talk to you about a buff that Adam Todd from my team in research wrote specifically for enumerating filter drivers and telling you what type of driver it is. Uh, it, this is one of those techniques that we have been using for many years that has been great for us. We actually pull the data from the registry instead of using the filter driver management interface or DLL, which actually reduced quite a bit our detection surface uh, because most of the solutions out there are actually looking for somebody loading that DLL or actually just going after um, and running the filter driver manager uh, executable itself, FLTMC, as you saw in one of my previous videos when we were talking about protecting Sysmon. On this one, we wrote the buff so we can pull that data straight from the registry. We can do it as regular user, even network service. We don't need to be administrator like you need to be for using the filter driver manager interface itself, the FLTMC.dll. Um, and, and just a brief overview of filter driver. Filter driver actually sit between your actions and the driver itself or the APIs for that interface. In other words, as you're writing or reading that IO operation from a file, the filter driver actually sits between you and the device itself. And it sees everything before the Windows API actually sees it. And this serves as a way for solutions like Sysmon or EDR products like CrowdStrike or AV products like Simon Tech and McAfee to actually look at what is being written, what is being read, or any other action that is being taken against a hardware device and actually examine that and then be able to block or allow and report what is happening. And they depend a lot on this filter drivers. Now, one of the things is that Microsoft actually requires each driver to have what is known as an altitude number. The altitude number says, what is the order of loading of the driver? And as you can see here in Microsoft page, we have a range for antivirus. We have a range for content screeners. We have a range for multiple other uses like encryption, virtualization, um, DLP solutions use content management stuff to, do, to be able to do it. They actually registered at multiple places. Uh, so having kind of like this ranges and then having the driver and the company be assigned a number allows us to better identify stuff that may impede our operation in the system. So Adam wrote a buff that is in our trusted set GitHub, that were buffs for situational awareness to be able to enumerate this. One of the things that I do is once I download the repo, I go into my script manager and I make sure in Cobalt Strike that I load that situational awareness CNA. This is written by uh, Chris Passion, actually includes some great uh, aliases for multiple commands, for uh, including it loads all of the bobs that we have and registers all of the ones that we've done. Uh, here's the example where we are loading and putting all of the information for a new filter drivers, which would actually kind of output all of that information in a CSV format for you. Um, so let's go in now here into Cobalt, uh, into Cobalt Strike, and I'm here in the console. And once I have loaded that CNA file for situational awareness, I can just do a new filter drivers. I run this on the target and I can see I have activity monitor one, um, content screener, app locker. Um, this will always be there on modern versions of Windows, does not say that it's enabled or not, just that the driver is there. But we can see Sysmon all of a sudden and we can see Windows Defender is also on my target box. 
So now all of a sudden I have an activity monitor solution like Sysmon that is present. We have a known filter driver for Sysmon. Even if they rename the driver, we're going to be able to identify it. Even if the vendor actually updates the driver and changes its name, its altitude number is going to be in a given range. So we're going to be even to find new products. So we don't have to keep a list of them. Uh, to be able to identify them. And here we have, uh, as I mentioned before, Windows Defender. So I really hope that you guys like this buff. I really hope that you guys find it useful as we have ourselves. It is super useful for us as we gain initial access and we do that initial situational awareness survey of the machine. We quickly check for filter drivers in our own framework and we're able to kind of quickly determine what kinds of solutions are in the system. And that actually dictates what other tools and how fast do we move on that system itself. Again, I hope that you liked the video. Uh, remember to um, subscribe and to like the, uh, the video. And if you have any other questions, ideas, just remember to contact us over at TrustedSec.